to get my uh, CB cable there out of the way. What's going on, American truckers? Hope everybody out there is doing great, staying out of trouble, staying safe. Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper. Of course, I'm your ugly old driver, old snapper. But anyway, been out here trucking for years. So I do a lot of things on this channel. You know, just promote different things. You know, um, and uh, try to put some sensible content out. But anyway, this video here today is going to be about how I ran my coax. Some of y'all know I had packed everything in my truck yesterday. Then I had to re-unpack it and reinstall everything. This is a, I'm not going to say it's the correct 100% way you should run a coax cable. But it is a fast way that does work. Okay. And literally if you do this you can install a cable in 20 minutes. You know, a uh, coax cable. So we're going to get into that. This is not going to be a real long video. And uh, I'm sure all of my super trucking friends out there will comment on this video and tell me how I should have done it. And I appreciate it. I appreciate all y'all out there looking out for old Snapper. But anyway, let's get right into that. <coughs> Ooh, we it's hot. Anyway, I'm running a fire stick. And as you can see, I got it mounted right there. You know, and uh, got the cable coming out the bottom of it just a regular fire stick antenna I don't kick mine forward I work for Creek Carriers my truck is not fast enough that it's going to straighten the uh, antenna out you know so I run mine straight up and down it's a top load so I want it up high I bring my cable right through there and even with the door shut there's still slack on it I can pull on the cable even with the door shut I come up this side I come in right here up this seam if you pull on this seam, it just comes right out. I still need to snap that back in. There's a little clip in there that it snaps into. But I came up to right here, and then I come across. Let's see if I can get a good picture of this right here. But yes, I came up this door seam, and then I come around the top. All right, and then I'm I'm tucked up under back here in the back. All right. I came all the way down and you'll see my cable going underneath the uh, underneath the visor over there let's see if I can zoom in on it right, see it going underneath the visor right there it comes around and it actually comes through right here I brought it in and around and that inside and then it hooks into my CB up there and then I tuck all the extra in different places all right as y'all can see, I also run an external speaker. Excuse my salt. That stuff's bad for your health. And with that cable, I haven't completely installed it yet. But uh, I tuck it in down there at the window. And then I will come up that uh, seam over there to where it's at right now. And then it comes over the top of that. And it, it comes in that same area right there where that cable comes in at. That's where my... Uh, CBK, we can see some of it there, my coax, but it comes in right there as well. Anyway, that's how uh, that's how old Snapper ran his cable. It's just a quick install. Now, one key thing to this, you know, you got 18 foot of cable. All right, I, I run 18 foot of cable. Now, when you tuck all that cable back in there, you don't want to put it real pretty where it's right there next to it, you know, rolled with each other that can actually interfere with the signal you want it all scrambled and just tucked back away run in different directions all right i know that sounds crazy i'm no expert in that but i've had a couple cb guys tell me so that's what i do any of y'all out there do know why that is man comment it down below so these other drivers know why you don't roll your coax up real pretty and tuck it away um they told you know i've been told several times that 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 messes you up so you kind of want it all scrambled and pushed back but anyway short video but that's how I ran my coax this is a 2018 Freightliner Cascadia hopefully that helps some of y'all out it's just a quick install no it is not correct you can run through the firewall on these trucks that is the correct way all right this is just a fast way to do it in a hurry don't feel like messing with it being lazy whatever you want to call it 
that's the way I did it. I love all y'all. Appreciate all y'all that watch. I appreciate all y'all that have been here since the beginning. You know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Remember, we're all a family out here. And keep trucking.